history, about 260,000 EU laws are in UK statute, and they'd found 4,000 down the back of the sofa they wanted to do something Yeah, but they're laws that were passed by UK Parliament. Do... Well, they were, no, well, they were, but they weren't able to be properly scrutinised. No amendments were able to be... scrutinised at the time. No amendments were able to be made. Those laws were not made by the British people for the British they people. Were. Of course they weren't. I've sat in that Parliament. I was elected to it. Don't try and they pretend were. I don't I'm know telling you, how the EU system I'm works. I'm talking about our Parliament enacts EU law. Of course it does. They are not it EU really laws passed any, down. It's we're not put into UK we're, statute. I'm can, not actually denying that. But what the, the, the point so of this is... don't say that they're laws that, that have been imposed on us by Brussels. They've been enacted well, there by was UK no way as a member of the EU. There was no way as a member of the EU to reject them. And you know that as well as Your I MPs do. Your MPs here know. could. That's you, what you made sovereignty look, here. We're going down a rabbit hole and this is a pointless well, debate. Because you all talk so much rubbish when you come on these programmes. Excuse me, that's just unnecessarily rude. But it's true. I'm sorry. You haven't actually let me talk, so if you Carry would on. let me talk, Carry perhaps on. you might I'm, agree with me. Well, let, let, I won't let, let her finish, and okay. then I will come back to because you. Because I don't think you're, you know, particularly being a good contributor right now, because you're just being essentially don't rude. Make the pun. Will any of these people who fought so hard for Brexit ever face up to their own responsibility and face the fact that what they all promised was a pack of lies, what they all promised was never going to work. None of you, none of you have ever brought forward a plan that says this is Brexit and this is how it works without damaging us here in the UK. And when I say you talk nonsense, when I say you talk nonsense, let me finish. All of those laws that you talked about were enacted by elected British governments and elected British parliaments. The fact that you in Europe couldn't do anything about it underlines that the sovereignty lay here. So all your lies about taking back control, more money for the NHS, sovereignty, hold on, immigration, hold on, hold the less of it. You uh, listen, on I knew, I knew you were going to come up with, you know, you know the, the money really for the NHS. Alexander Nothing Phillips. to do with me, not my campaign. And it's very rich, a man who essentially was part of telling lies to invade a country, okay, to accuse okay. me of dishonesty. I think you might have lost okay. the argument there, my dear. If I may patronise you even more, honestly. No, that's it now. Yes, I'm I will. Afraid. No, I'm that's sorry. it. No, that's they, it. That's no, sorry. It. You you bring these people on. You never challenge them. You let them talk Please. utter rubbish about Brexit, and it's happened on the BBC for year after year after year. Okay, after I am that. not going to take that from you. With respect, fine, Mr fine. Campbell. Thank well, you. You don't thank have you, to. Thank, thank you very much for being on the programme. Thank you. Thank you very much yeah, for coming on the programme.